Hey everyone, it's Pastor Paul Krampitz coming to you uh, once more from my study here at Bethany Lutheran Church in Cromwell, Connecticut. Uh, we are continuing our time in Luther's small catechism, and uh, in this session we will conclude our study of the Lord's Prayer uh, as we consider the conclusion of the Lord's Prayer. Uh, but first, let's pray that prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. And now the conclusion. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. How does Luther explain this? What is this? As we use his question, Was ist das? That I should be certain that such petitions are acceptable to and heard by our Father in heaven. For God himself commanded us to pray like this and has promised to hear us. Amen, amen means yes, yes. It is going to come about just like this. I love that uh, explanation of Luther, and uh, uh, let me let me speak to just two aspects of this. One is um, the idea that God commands us to pray and promises to hear us. Uh, boy, that's law and gospel, isn't it? You know, we have this command and also this promise. Um, so we have a duty or an obligation to pray, and yet it is also a great privilege, right? As that beautiful hymn says, take it to the Lord in prayer. And, and what a friend we have in Jesus, the idea that we have a God we can turn to um, and communicate with, to, uh, to give thanks to God, to praise God, and to set our needs before God. Uh, it's not something we do as Christians. It's, it's an important part of who we are. We are a praying people. So again, a both and. It's a command and also a promise. And then what Luther has to say about amen. Yes, yes, it's going to come about just like that. Uh, I always think of the amen as the exclamation point on a prayer right? Uh, yes. <laughs> it's, you know, God is going to hear my prayer and God is going to answer my prayer. Um, we say amen a lot during the liturgy. And I love it when uh, people, as they receive Holy Communion, um, say amen, uh, as we are um, encouraged to do. The body of Christ given for you, Amen. <laughs> And that amen, again, in, in a couple of ways, we can understand that, that amen, yes, it is so that this is the body of Christ, and also, yes, it is so that this is given for me, right? And not just for me, it's a big you. Uh, it's given for all people, the body of Christ given for you, amen. Um, we say amen, um, you know, at the apostolic reading, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and also with you. And then a prayer of the day um, and then the amen. So at the daily prayer in our worship, amen. Um, I, I just love the word amen, the exclamation point, which um, really is a mark of faith that it's a way of saying that, yes, this is what I believe, and yes, I have confidence in this God who commands me to pray and who promises to hear me. Amen. Let it be so. Until next time, Pastor Paul saying goodbye and God bless.